you don't like wearing a jacket. No, I'm fine. No, but you're not comfortable, Jake. We should blow this joint and go someplace more casual. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that I would... Well, I was going to show you a good time, even if it kills me. Your table is ready, sir. You know, we would like a bottle of, of your best champagne. Okay, yes, that's too much. No, it's fine. Go. No, stay. Stay. We can't really even enjoy Go. it because we have to be sober when we interview the nannies. I would like to entertain the most beautiful woman in this room with a nice bottle of champagne. Move! <laughs> okay. Never let it be said that Jake McKinnon does not know how to treat his women right. It's true. You do. All your women. All four of your women. Which reminds me, I'm going to check in with Abigail. No, 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 no. If Michelle and Bridget need anything, Abigail knows where it knows where You know, I think I should just check Besides, with her. we have an engagement to celebrate and a, and a, and a wedding to plan. Wedding plans? Mm -hmm. You think you're just wearing that rock for your health? That's the way it works. You get engaged, you get married, you have babies. You've got two out of three. I figure, why not go for the triple crown? So I was thinking to have the wedding in May. Because it's warm, but it's not too hot. <laughs> what do you think? I, I'm, I'm thinking, why are, you, why, are you, why are you asking me? Because it's your wedding, too? Well, I understand that, but, you know, you're a girl. I mean, you, you guys think about this stuff since you're like, like, like 12 years old, right? Not really. I never really thought about it. <laughs> In fact, I wouldn't mind if you planned the whole thing. Really? Really, you know, I'm come to think of it, I, I think I've come up I'm thinking about like the the perfect place. Where? <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of magical. It's practically a symbol of our love. Jake McKinnon, that is so sweet. Mm -hmm. What place? Mabel's. Mabel's. Mm -hmm. Hole in the wall hot dog stand, right. Mabel. We had our first dance there. We had our, we had our first kiss there. Jake, it's it's practically a fast food drive through. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's probably really, really busy. But I'll bet if we slid enough money Mabel's way, she'd probably book the whole place out for for a night. Two of us. What do you think? I think I'm gonna call Abigail and make sure everything's fine. No, I'm sure everything's kids. fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, unless she can't get to the phone. Everything is. fine. and I'm gonna go check out that chocolate mousse cake. I'm gonna go see where our waiter is right now, okay? Mabel's? I did see this one wedding dress in, in a magazine. No, see, not, you don't have to worry about that now because you won't, you won't need a wedding dress at Mabel's. What am I supposed to wear? I don't know, like jeans or shorts or something like that. To my wedding? Yeah, of course. Are you kidding me? Big, big, big deals, shindigs, they're, they're just overrated. Overrated? As a matter of fact, we should probably we should probably go to to uh, Bay City for the honeymoon. I mean, isn't that where Simon and, and, and uh, Katie went? Well, what about the Caribbean? You said we were going to go to the Caribbean. Are you kidding me? Forget about the beach when you got the bay. Jake McKinnon, this might be old hat to you, but this wedding means something to me. It is not overrated. It's ours. And I'm not going to settle for hot dogs or overalls or some waterfront overlook where Katie freaking Peretti, Frazier, whatever the hell her name is, looked at some sunset. Now, here comes the bride. Oh, my. Yeah. How could you do that oh, to me? I just wanted you to snap out of being Stepford Molly. I just want you to be involved in your wedding. How can you not be? You're the bride. But, um... But, 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 but what? The only wedding I can probably afford is one at Mabel's. Jake, I know the bride's family is supposed to pay for the wedding, and my family... Then why don't you let me take care of it, because I can afford it. You shouldn't have to. Honey, I'm coming to you with nothing. And if you left tomorrow, I would lose everything. No, you wouldn't. What are you talking about? That's the way I feel. I mean, you've given me the greatest gifts that, that, that anybody could have. I mean, I, without you, I wouldn't have my daughters. I wouldn't have Abigail. I, I wouldn't have you. I wouldn't have my life. So please, let me do something for you. Let me... I love you. Let me give you a wedding. At Mabel's? No, you don't have to get married at Mabel's. You can marry at a church or on a mountain or underwater in Scooby Gear. It doesn't matter as long as you're right there by my side. <laughs> 
and I want Carly and Abigail to be attendants, and Michelle and Bridget can be flower girls. No, yeah, you have to make sure that the flowers are edible because you know they stick everything in their mouths. <laughs> they do stick.